Data Pandit. So, in continuation with the XML data processing, so this is the second episode uh, wherein we are going to talk about generating the XML document. So, as I said, there are many times we need to push the data to the third party or to the downstream processing in the XML format. So, therein, so here we are going to create a XML files from our uh, native uh, Ebenezer described uh, structures, right? So, in this uh, uh, process, first what we do is, uh, for example, we have a, a sample of data. So, let's look at this kind of data we have, right? So, I am taking the example of uh, previous example wherein we read the XS, XSD or XML data and uh, we produce the data in the format of our native DML, Ebenezer DML. So, now we are doing the reverse thing. So for example, we receive the, we have a data in the system. So, we could be uh, data like a book ID. Okay, so we have book catalog basically, author, those kind of fields we have, let's say. And we have address related fields like state, city, state, and zip code. So, this uh, fields, right, so we are going to generate our record within the record format at last. So, to do that, we have a certain steps. First, we are going to create the target XSD or target XML. I, either we can request the XML format, what they, what the downstream process or downstream system request want, or we can create the D, uh, in uh, from our understanding, we can create the XSD or XML, and we can get it approved, and then we can utilize the XML to DML, and then we try to generate the DML probably right so these kind of things we can do so first of all so major major point is we need the that xml which you know can be understood by any xml component to produce the final xml file so that we are going to do so second point is read the data from ai native dml so i said right native dml of this data would be like this right so we will have a record book id sample right simple DML basically. So, this data can be read by this DML. So, this data we have in our system, have been issue system, right? For example, right? So, this is the record format. And third point is create or map the data in vector or nested record format. So, this is important part. So, the DML for this kind of the refer, so for this to do, we will have two cases, right? So, if we have a singular, singular element mapping, one-to-one -one mapping like book ID to book ID or, uh, you know, author to author, title to title, genre to genre, right? Uh, price to price or publish date to publish date. So, if this kind of one-to-one -one mapping, if we have singular mapping, then we can use the, you know, CAS1, right? Use reformat if items are singular or items are are singular or one-to-one -one mapping. If we have, then we can use the reformat. We can utilize this. We can create create the record or record within record also can be created using the reformat, right? We can do the mapping. We can create the target DML. So target DML, we will be creating using the XML to DML utility. That is good uh, good way of doing it, right? So, so that the uh, XML component can read that uh, DML to D par, uh, to create the XML finally, right? So we are going to see that. And or if we have a you know complex structure and if we have some looping and we want to denormalize the data, right? If we have five records for book ID and we want to, want to generate the vector format of book, right? Right? Then we can create the rollup right on book ID and create the denormalized form of the data right so, so based on the a particular key right so in that case we can use the utilize the normal then use xml combine is the component basically to to produce the xml records 
okay use and then finally use uh, you know output uh, you know file to collect or create the dot xml file which we are going to send to the out outputs uh, you know or the third party or the downstream system right so the main thing is like if you look at the if you look at the graph which we are going to design for this process is like um, we will have an input file and uh, so the so catalog book dml is the simple ab initio dml and then we will have a reformat let's say we are we have a singular mapping one to one mapping then the input port of this will be a, a simple ab initio dml and then ta target would be the target xml dml so this dml is we have to produce the output port of this reformat here in reformat we are going to produce a logic to produce the records and vectors or nested uh, i should say nested record or vector nested records or vectors we are going to produce right for nested record or vector in, for the vector format i mean we will try to utilize the roll up component basically and then once we create the target dml so the xml combine would be understanding this target dml and then it will you know it will be creating the final uh, final uh, you know xml record basically so this output format output port of this xml combined component will have this kind of dml string backslash and so sing for particular one record there will be a single line okay so this is uh, i mean for entire you know for uh, for entire xml file so this this will be a format right so now now what we have to do is like let's see this one so we have this dml data and then we will have a reformat component to to create the uh, no, target data and before that we can produce the target xml or we get it approved the dot xml file and then we can uh, you know utilize that and from the import dialog or import xml dialog or D xml to dml utility to produce the dml like this like we have created the dml right so similar kind of dml we can create using the xml dot xml file we create the xsd file or xml file and try to create this kind of dml okay so once you create this dml we need to try to map this uh, within the reformat component or roll up component based on the use case so if we do the mapping over here right now let me try to create the mapping reformat i have right let's say i need to so i will have a simple right out i will have a out dot let's say book dot id then in dot id out dot book uh, dot let's say first of all sequence number i think i have sequence number right if you look at this uh, dml you may sequence num cq and um so if let's say so we can use the uh, it's not an book uh, it's direct sequence num in dot sequence number or you can use the next in sequence i think you can use you have to use the next in sequence maybe you can utilize the next in sequence tick mm, okay. and then you have book dot id and dot id similarly i will have you know for all those fields you know all those let's say i have 
author ds or author so, so likewise but when you map the address field right so what you can do is um, you can do like out dot book dot address dot street is equal to n dot str street right similarly you know depending upon the and then city is equal to n dot city city or i will have street and finally i will have right yeah street city state zip likewise we can copy and those other fields i can copy like simple uh, in this way author and all right so this way we can produce the mapping so this is a simple way of doing it so if we have a roll up then what we can do is i mean we can use the accumulate function we can utilize that accumulate function to create the vector format or um, or if it is in a string so we can use, utilize simple string right so in the we can produce that so after doing this mapping so the output part of this reformat will be will be this dml basically okay and then if you look at this graph output format this will be dml will be this dml and input part of xml combined component will have all obviously the same dml this dml only and the output part of the xml combined will will have a this dml right and then output file will be created we can have this uh, you know let's say so this file is going to be let's say ai serial if you're creating the file in a serial so book catalog dot xml file i can generate right so this file i can generate you from this you know simple book catalog book catalog okay so from simple dml to the xml file so you need to take care so two things needs to be taken care of. which components we use to create the dml uh, to create the xml is xml combine and to read the dml is xml split these are the most commonly used components so there are multiple other xml related components like xml transform or xml you know other but mostly these are enough actually to for a beginner perspective and also most of the use cases can be done by these so you we have to uh, and also second thing to uh, uh, to to consider is uh, creating the uh, target xsd or request the xsd and from that xsd you can create the xml and then uh, create the xml dml and then you can you can use your data and to produce the map this dml so if we have a vectored you know repetitive data so we can use the roll up or if we have a singular one to one map we can utilize reformat so depending upon the circumstances use cases we can pick and choose the particular component right so with that thank you so much uh, we are going to see uh, next is like access uh, xls actually or the csv data okay thank you so much